For the SME sector, as I said, the economy is growing um, at GDP rates of over 7% annually. And so there's a sector growing, which is the, the normal public corporate sector. There's a lot of businesses that are also forming within the SME sector. And it's understanding the perception of risk for this sector. And some of these include educating the management to be able to manage their resources adequately enough. For some of them, for example, um, getting proper accounts is, is, is something that they need to appreciate better and managing that, managing their cash flows better. The yes. local large companies would, would ordinarily have grown from the SMEs into the local corporates. And you'd find that the management of their cash flows is a bit better than you would find for the SME that has just started. And you will see that the local corporates that have grown from being um, a value chain supplier, for example, a supplier or a distributor, have better management systems because the multinational in the middle of them sometimes manages to enhance their profile. So they begin to learn some of the basic principles I'm talking about. So that makes it easier for a bank to finance them because they're linked up with the value chain. Now those that are not part of the value chain are the ones that end up having more difficulty because then they, they're, they're more innovative perhaps because they've, they've got a new product, they're not relying on any multinational and they need to appreciate how to manage their resources and cash flow better so banks can understand and price their risk properly. The issue is to to do with that education which I think we need to do more of. Well, I think is this dual purpose of, of, of our strategy. Africa is our strategy and it's saying we want our, our purpose is to integrate Africa economically and financially and underpinned by that is outstanding customer service and I think that's one of the key areas which is at the forefront of the bank right now. It's just ensuring that one, we have a networked platform for each of our affiliates and Ghana is evidently one of the strong um, affiliates in the group, ensuring that we're able to migrate the best practice that we have across the network. The customer service is key. Um, I, I think in, in, in Ghana now, we have the biggest balance sheet. And um, in terms of total assets, we're the biggest bank. And we want to make sure that we leverage on that to bring value to our customers, both in terms of financing customers and also in general day-to-day -day customer service for uh, our customers. Yeah. I think for the corporate banking is really mainly on the leveraging our platform of 35 countries. You know the multinationals in Africa and they have our footprints and we have their footprints and it's essential to make sure that there's a link between the two with seamless operations across. So in terms of ensuring transfers across borders, um, structuring cross-border transactions, and, um, and, and again, and ensuring that when you have one eco bank in uh, any particular country, in Mali or in uh, Sierra Leone or in Gambia, you got the same service throughout so that you know that you're assured of a certain quality. And I think that's what distinguishes us because the multinational out there maybe stepping into Africa for the first time, they need to understand what's going on. And I think that the key thing is that when they come here, they know that we will handhold them to all the other territories they want to go to. We have the research platform as well to ensure that the research is excellent. So we give them advisory um, um, as well. So there are different roles that we play with the multinational which differentiates us. And then in Ghana in particular, I think that, you know, as I mentioned earlier, the infrastructure is, is something that is key for the, the Ghanaian economy and ensuring that our balance sheet is out there, that we can work with other banks to make sure that we provide adequate financing to maybe the oil and gas or the power or the energy sector. So I think we, we are the forefront of that.